so I'm doing a wee search today. Uh, I was on Google Maps and I was wanting to see if I could go from Bannockburn to the Kelpies. Uh, sort of knowing the main roads, so I want to go on the B road, by B roads, and see uh, if there's a good way of going it. So I came up with one that's um, it's about 14 miles to it. So I'm just going to go part of the way, see what it looks like. There seems to be a bicycle path when you hit the near the uh, Kincardine Ridge, so I want to have a look at that bit. So, starting off here, just at like the Bannerburn, there's the Bannerburn bus station. There's the electric bike, and I'm heading this way towards Cowie. So that's where I came from, the beginning of Cowie. And I'm heading up that hill there. It looks like it's a wee bit steep, but it's not too bad. Okay, we're heading out of Cowie now, that's the way I've came from. And you've got the, the Fitba field here, and of course you've got the caver board here. And then at the bottom of this road, we turn left. So I've just came from that way. This way takes you onto the main road, which is the M9. But we're going to take the left road here, which is a wee bit quieter, and it's better. You can be better seen there in less traffic. So let's head this way. Well, that was an enjoyable couple of miles coming in there. It was uh, mostly downhill. And this is the way we'll be going. This way takes you to air. But you can also go that way. Um, I can't remember who that takes you. Is that the pineapple? I think that takes you to the pineapple uh, house. Um, yeah, yeah. But we're going this way. But uh, that's five miles so far. And really, really enjoyable. Uh, mostly it's always downhill. So we're going to go to air and then across the road to Concarne. So I took a slight detour there, remember when I came and I took the right hand turn, well I ended up going to the road here and I wasn't sure if I went right or left, so I took left and I came up to the bit that I should have came up to, which is the crossroads. This way here, if I'd continued on that road, remember I said going to the pineapple house, it would have brought me up here, which is the way I was wanting to go. Not much of a difference, but uh, you may get a wee bit confused if you're no sure of the lay of the roads here you go across this crossroads now. So I've just came from that way and we've reached the pineapple house or the road to the pineapple house and we have went 7.5 miles that took 42 minutes and it's relatively flat all the way there's, there's no hills that went at all but heading up here and then I'll be turning right on the main road and this way will take us to Earth. Okay so that's we just came from Earth and then you see there's Earthry Castle I've just reached the Network 76 cycle lane, well, cycle road, path, whatever you want to call it. And that's the way I'm going to go home, which takes me roughly the same way. Here's the cycle path, you see the motorway there. And I want to go a wee bit further just to see where uh, 76 crosses the road. And uh, no, you go past, I believe, Skin Flats is on the right hand side of it, isn't it? I think so anyway, if I'm getting my Google Maps right, so let's go up a bit further. So I uh, was at a wee petrol station there and I uh, seen like the main roads went underneath the bridge there. But I came further on down and I've came to here, so here is the sign. Round the fourth Grangemouth, maybe do that one day, me and John. That'd be pretty good. It says you're still in 14 mile, Grangemouth 5 mile for here. So you go up here round here and then that'll take you to here so that'll be the next part but I'm on the electric bike today and as you probably know I've just had a hernia operation getting one or two wee twinges when I come off the bike so that's about 10 miles so that's pretty good my electric bike lasts 20 miles so about 10 miles to get back so yeah, that's a, a future bike ride for me and John.